coming up in this week's episode. You think I don't know what it's like to be 16? No, you don't know what it's like to be 16 and a girl and the Slayer. Well, the second two, most definitely. Yeah, and now, yeah, different time periods, Madel. Hey, my name is Maria. My name is Sam. I'm a huge fan. I haven't seen this show. Welcome to the buff summer. I do not have strong feelings about this episode. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, so like, it's yes, okay. Yeah. No, it's cool. I yeah. don't dislike it in any way. I okay. do like episodes like this. Okay. But the serialized part of it uh, is good. Okay. Yeah. And some not good fashion. So I guess the one of the questions is, can I find anything good about this episode? <laughs> Yes, that's right. a really good question. Cool. Yeah. And remember, guys, we have all of our Buffy uh, uncut full-length reactions, picture-in-picture picture on our Patreon. That'll be uh, Patreon slash The Buff Summer. We will have a link down below. It's only 5 USD per month. So if you want the uncuts, you know where they are. Is she dying? I think she's singing. Come on. That's rude. Why is she singing? She's sad because her lover gave her 12 gold coins. And the wizard cut open the bag of salt, and now the dancing minions have nowhere to... Also, is it not a musical? <laughs> Put their big maple fish thing. Uh-huh. Why is she singing? Dude. Oh, my God. Musicals exist in Western culture, too. What the fuck? It's just like a lot of Bollywood is musical-based, apparently. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Not just because we didn't have any money or any place to go, this would be a lackluster evening. We could go to the bronze and sneak in our own tea bags and ask for hot water. Oh, that is so familiar. <laughs> yeah. I, for one, am giddy and up. No demons or vampires to slay. I'm here with my friends. It's nice, but I feel like you just jinxed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You don't believe in jinxes? No, but this is a TV show. <laughs> yes. A supernatural, supernatural. TV show. Supernatural, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you're right. Mm, of course. I mean, it's an episode of Buffy. Yeah. That was quite a... Yeah. Run through the window. Yeah. She escaped pretty hard. Uh, without any cuts. I know, I know. No slashing from the glass at all. <laughs> I wish she at least had like a cloth of some Yeah, point. something. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like I don't even need to bring up a story of someone like smashing through glass and getting mm -hmm. cut up because mm -hmm. like everyone knows, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's uh, lucky. Yeah. She is like that. Very lucky. <laughs> it seems like a bit of an oversight for whoever's place this is. Yeah. I love that mini pyramid somehow. I know. The great <laughs> God, <for some laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Oh, no, I do know what was that. Okay. Callie, <laughs> right, just getting started. <laughs> yeah, don't you know these rich people need to sacrifice you for some reason? <laughs> yeah. Maybe to keep their wealth? Hey, Dan from Charmed. Oh, yeah, he looked familiar. Yes. Right. In a couple years. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, sure. in two years. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to point out to those of you who don't know. Yes, we've both seen Charmed. Yeah, we're huge fans. A lot of Charmed. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's... Oh, yeah, that sounded fake as shit. Yeah. So. Yes. <laughs> when a man is speaking, you really, really listen. You laugh at everything he says. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, maybe you shouldn't be teaching her how to fake laugh. Oh my laugh. god, that girl did not have lines. Mm -hmm. He dreamed about Angel again? Third night in a row. What did he do in the dream? Stuff. Hold on. Yeah. I feel like Cordelia maybe doesn't realize that her fake laugh doesn't come off as real because everyone else around her is just like, she's super hot. We'll let it go. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's probably the case. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So she doesn't even know that her fake laugh is it's super fake, fake and everyone yeah. knows. Yeah. She might have like heard her mom do that She could that be even. straight up delusional about it. Just like it, yeah. other people. And she's like, oh yeah, they react to it normally. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's totally, yeah. For sure. Wow. Also, what is this? Yeah, for both of them. I know. And I feel like it's a little bit better for uh, Willow. Mm. Like the what? skirt and... If she didn't okay. have an orange I top under the purple... Sweater. Sweater. I, yeah, yeah, just the color combo for Willow, especially being a redhead. Yeah, that orange color. But Buffy's kind of worse. Those pants and this blouse with like yeah. darker bra that... Yeah. And it just really doesn't look good. Honestly, like, it just looks like a really bad shirt. 
Well, that's you know, yeah, I know, I know, yeah, yeah, I know. That's, I know that's, that's like part the problem. Of it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think the shirt could look better if she had a different kind of. Bra. If she literally just had a white bra, the yeah, shirt would probably also, be fine. Also, like this bra yeah. kind of just doesn't look that like it's fitting. For, it's like, funny, like she kind of looks like she's got boob armor. Problem. The blouse on its yeah. own could be good in a yeah. different combination. Was it one of those vivid dreams that had surround sound? Okay. You two are so right for each other. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know about that one. Except for the uh, vampire thing. That doesn't make him a bad person. Oh, he's not a bad person. He's no, just wildly he's wrong. Very people. old and experienced. <laughs> yeah. You could ask him for coffee some night. Uh, don't do that. It's not a date. It's a caffeinated beverage. But what's the point? Uh. Sure, it's hot and bitter like a relationship. <laughs> oh, okay, I love that Willow because I do like my coffee hot and bitter. <laughs> I uh, don't find any of the relationships I've ever had no. to be, well, not bitter at the very least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, not a great thought process. I just love that Willow. for coffee, but yeah. Yeah. And it, I agree on that. And also, most of the first dates I went on, maybe like half of the first dates I went on in my lifetime were coffee dates. Yeah. Partly because it's more chill. There's like yes, less pressure. absolutely. I never tried to pretend like it wasn't a date. Yeah. But it's just oh, yeah. a little bit lower pressure. Yes, which angle is the of first date. date, like the yeah. first. Which is yeah. perfect for a yeah, date. Because yeah. then you yeah. just chill, hang out, see if you actually get along, that kind of thing. You know yeah, I, mean? I would uh, always like go for a walk. Yeah. Like a walk in a park, a walk <laughs> by the river. Like. Okay, so <laughs> for those of you who don't know, we, we met online, so we didn't actually go through like the first date process. By the time we were together in person, we were just together as a couple. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's funny talking about this now because we haven't yeah. actually talked about it that much. Yeah. And my dates back in the day were go for coffee at a cafe yeah. and I go for a walk through the park. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And I always found that it's just like, that almost has to be the first date. Because if you do something that's like more fun or exciting or whatever, it's just like, are you really like having fun together? Or is it a fun event that you're sharing together? Yeah. But if you if you guys can just have fun having a coffee and walking through the park, yeah. you can have fun anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's really no comparison between college men and high school boys. Well, of course. College men. I don't, I don't know about college men. Also yeah. college boys. <laughs> yeah. But, you know. Yeah. So cool, you're dating college guys now. I happen to be dating a Delta Zeta Kappa. Uh, cool. I know. Good for you, dude. Oh, an extraterrestrial. You'll go to college someday, Xander. You know, your pizza delivery career will take you so many exciting places. Mm. It's possible. Yeah, I got told stuff like that a lot in high school, too. I really wanted that girl to speak. Mm -hmm. it's Fair just enough. like she's it's not just weird. on the background she's fucking with her dudes. she's talking <laughs> <laughs> yes she's just fucking with Cordelia <laughs> I know. Ooh, like it. her whole thing today is she wants to see how long she can hang out with Cordelia without saying a single word before Cordelia notices yes oh my god <laughs> That's the whole point. Like, yeah, Cordelia yeah. is surrounding, exactly. you know, people. No, fully. They just, like, nod and listen yes. in a lot of cases. Yes, people. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, like, that makes for sense sure. for the story. But like, I really wanted that girl to speak. <laughs> no. uh, but as we were going through this, I don't like the color of Sanders' shirt. <laughs> it's not even that I don't like lime green. Which is yeah, it's kind it's of just it's too close to yellow. It's like the worst green, or maybe not the yeah. worst green, but one of. It's not even like no, it is one of the, the closeness yeah. to fluoro because I like fluoro. I just fuck is that? And he really like matches the wall, and that's like <laughs> He's kind of a it's problem. The wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna try to get this specific yeah. shot. Just because the paranormal is more normal and less para of late is no excuse for tardiness or letting your guard down. Yeah, hang on. Tardiness? Oh, I see. Late to train. Yes. Are you going to be prepared if a demon springs up behind you and does this? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. I feel like you didn't put a whole lot of effort into that one, Giles. When you live on top of a mystical convergence, it's only a matter of time before a fresh hell breaks loose. <laughs> nice. Yeah, she knows. She's trying to enjoy her time off while she has it. Yes. You should hunt and patrol more keenly and hone your skills day and night. Mm, no. Definitely not. That's how you burn out. little slice of life that still belongs to me in the morning. Can I do what I want then? You think I don't know what it's like to be 16? No. You don't know what it's like to be 16 and a girl and the slayer. Well, the second and now. two, most definitely. Yeah. And now, yeah. Different time periods matter. Fair enough. No, no I, I don't. Taking on the undead doesn't exactly do wonders for your social life. Okay. I'll... That's exactly where, where being different uh, comes in handy. I'm going to pause this again. 
none of these things outweigh the fact that you can't just work all the fucking time. Yeah. You will burn out. I have at least three or four different hobbies, passions, whatever things that I like that I practiced so much it injured me, including guitar, which you would think like at some I've told people about my guitar injuries and they were like, what? I didn't know you could hurt yourself playing guitar. And it's like, well, you can hurt yourself if you do too much of literally anything. Yeah. 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 So mm. you'll need a social life when you've got your very own helmet. Yes. Dude. No. Giles. We all have to do things we don't like. And you have hand to hand this afternoon and patrol tonight. Yeah. Social life for most people is part of psychological needs. Yes. You come straight here at the end of, of period six and, and you get your homework done. Wow, it's like he wanted to blurt. Oh, that's so foolish. Oh, Giles. Yeah. That's so like short-sighted. you think it's gonna be good long-term? Mm. Mm-mm. Wow. Buffy. Aren't you supposed to be doing your homework in the library? I'm dawdling. Oh, yeah. for me. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's a space seems, here. It seems very intentional. Yeah, yeah. it kind of seems intentional and unintentional. It's like she she She's swerved so used to in doing so it hard. Yeah. Cordelia. Hi, Richard. Good God, you guys look old. <laughs> Especially this this other guy on the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having a little get together tomorrow night at the house. He's like thirty one. <laughs> well, I'll be curious to actually check out his age. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? I'd love, love to go. So who's your friend? Her? What? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> hey, that random girl in the background. Your friend, right? Yeah, Who is she? Before we get to Buffy, I was thinking, yeah. like, it makes sense that they would be, like, 30. Yeah. Because if, you know, charisma I know. is 30, they have to be a little yeah. bit older than her. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> to play college kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah to sure. look older. Yeah. Oh my god. I know. Plus, of course, their fucking style. That's like frat style. Oh, dude. Um, wealthy white frat boy. Not a good look. No. <laughs> like, Cordelia kind of looks like that right now as well. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Don't wear a sweater vest. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to some of her other looks, especially in Angel. Some of her looks are okay. so good. Yeah, so, that's not a spoiler, guys. Just in case you forgot or weren't aware i know she's an angel yeah i remember the advertisements on tv back in the day oh oh she's not my friend she's amazing we're like a sister really we're that close <laughs> of course <laughs> immediate turnaround well, why don't you introduce us okay oh my god the way she looked there yeah tonight indian tv so i'll bring the beetle nuts richard is fraternity brother when i meet you um, I don't really want to meet any fraternity boys. Yeah, and if the there fuck? was a god, don't you think he'd Dude, keep it that way? are you way? serious? Oh my god. Um, no. Okay, I understand Cordy being this pushy in the sense that she just kind of is this person. Yeah. Hi, sweetheart. I'm Richard, and you are? So not interested. But yeah, Buffy, actually leave now. Yeah. She likes to play hard to get. I think you're playing easy to resist. Um, Feel free to ignore him. Uh -huh. I do all the time. Hey, yeah. well overly pushy, creepy dude. She said no. I'm Tom Warner. I'm a senior at Crestwood College. No, but he's being nicer, you know? Here I stand in all my doltishness. Like she's gonna fall for that. Uh, she might. Buffy Summers. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, are you a senior here? Junior. Me too. Except that I'm a senior and I'm in college. Yeah. I major in history. History stumps me. Oh, God. I have a hard enough time remembering what happened last week. Nothing happened last week. Don't worry, I was there. Oh, that's perfect for uh, him. Yes. He wants you to not remember what happened every that's time okay. you see him. Yeah. My friend invited your friend to a party. <laughs> Actually, he's not even really my friend. I only joined the fraternity because my father and grandpa were in it before me. But, oh, my God. If I've ever seen two sexual assault perpetrators waiting to happen, mm -hmm. oh, that's them. And again, it's the behavior, not just the look. No, no, no. The whole idea back in the day of persistence pays off, man. Yeah, if she's actually interested to begin with. If she's not, I mean, like, yeah, you. I suppose you can turn it around, but, like, this shouldn't be how it is. Just, again, the way they're doing it. Mm -hmm. it's not good. Yeah, the whole plan that they have, mm -hmm. one is pushy and one is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this like, is oh, very don't, manipulative. Don't, don't, like, sorry, uh, ignore don't him. mind my friend. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Yeah. It meant a lot to them. Okay, Boots, start a walk-in. I know, I talk too much anyway. Yes. Mm. Would you like to come and save me from a really dull fate? I'm sort of involved. Oh, sure, of course you are. Thanks for letting me ramble. You know, people underestimate the value of a good ramble. No. Oh. Sometimes, but this fucking guy. Yeah. Buffy! 
I gotta go. It was nice to meet you. Oh. Oh. Same here. She can't recognize pretending to be nice yet. No, no. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. That's her learning moment. Because, yeah, 100%, that's what faking being nice looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate these guys. You should, Zander. Oh, he said. This is the one time you... Whatever they want just falls into their laps. With their charm lives, good looks, and more money than you can count. And their sexual assault vibes. I'm hating. I'm going to attack you. Word of warning for your own good. Why? No, we forced a lot. But uh, this is the one time where it doesn't matter that Xander's kind of still just being petty. He doesn't mm -hmm. know that these two guys are concerning kinds of guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he doesn't have that experience as well. But at least I can be on board with it this time. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah you know what? You should be concerned about those guys. Yeah. yeah. I won't be pulling any punches. Please don't. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, Giles. Good. So, um, you're on patrol, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Buddy, up until this episode, you've been great. Right now, mm -hmm. I can see the fear that you have of not being ready, just mm -hmm. taking over. Yeah. It's not good. It's like you would think as the Watcher, he would know that you can't over, like, you, but you can overtrain and you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, she needs rest and recovery. She needs to have a social life. Yeah, he wants to train her head. Mm hmm. There's blood on it. Hi, it's nice to. Blood? I could smell it. Yeah, that makes sense. It's pretty thin. It probably belonged to a girl. You would assume. I was <laughs> just thinking, wouldn't it be funny sometime to see each other when it wasn't a blood thing? <laughs> Oh, Buffy. Oh. You're saying you want to have a date? Yeah. Yeah. No. You don't want to have a date. Who said date? Oh. Right. You just want to have coffee or something. You can <sighs> call it not a date all you want. It still is. I knew this was going to happen. What? What do you think is happening? Oh, it just it's hard for me to just, like watch things like that now because I was that person. I definitely had those like mm -hmm. dates, not dates, or not really knowing whether it's a date. Mm -hmm. you and know? you know what? It's not great. I think I went on maybe one one time where I guess I wasn't clear. Ten minutes in or whatever, I remember the girl being like, "So is this like a date?" I'm like, "Oh yes, no, totally, absolutely." Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't realize that was unclear. My bad. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. like, oh, cool. I never did it on purpose. It was just one time, you know, miscommunication. So. Oh, yeah. I definitely had times when I was like, not sure. And I wasn't assertive enough at that point uh -huh. to like ask or to say. Okay, so I was just like, yeah, like this person. You yeah. know, and like we're hanging out, but I don't know if we're hanging out as uh -huh. we're on a date or we just hang out as, as pals. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. And like I wish I was at the time because, you know. You wish you were more aware. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. And just totally. went for one or the other and yeah. just be fine. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. he says like, no, yeah, fine. Absolutely. Yes, cool. When you're yeah. young, it is hard. I was lucky enough to get that good advice of like, don't make it a serious date, but do yeah. make it clear that you're attracted to this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. And it has to be something that uh, is taught earlier. Yeah, you know? totally. Like, yeah, when you're totally. a teenager. Yeah. You're 16 years old. I'm 241. You don't know what you want. Do you? I want out of this conversation. Oh, good. If we date, well, one thing's going to lead to another. And? It's a little late to be reading me a warning label. Just trying to protect you. Protect her from what? I'm assuming a vampire. Well, probably. sure. As if that's the biggest problem. This isn't some fairy tale. When I kiss you, you don't wake up from a deep sleep. Oh, well, it depends on what kind of kiss, buddy. <laughs> when you kiss me, I want to die. That is an answer. Yeah. You guys can't recognize this the isn't good? Here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Not you guys. She's 16. Angel, what the hell? Oh. Yeah, it's rough because the thing he's thinking about that he's going to kill her accidentally, not everything else. Not that she's 16. Yeah. This is clearly an issue. Yeah. The Zeta Kappas have to have a certain balance at their party. Richard explained it all to me, but I didn't hear much. <laughs> oh my God, who cares? Yeah. Buffy, are you actually going to go to this thing? The deal is they need you to go. How are you being dragged into this? If you don't go, I can't. Okay. Yeah. Not yet. She's just trying to drag you into this. Richard Anderson, okay? As in Anderson Farms, Aeronautics, and Anderson Cosmetics. Okay, they're rich. Powerful family. Cool. Don't let her drag you into this, dude. You see why I have to go? No. No. I'll go. You'll go? 
Oh, no. And it's just because of this angel situation. Yeah. Okay, I guess good a, news yeah. here at least. Yeah. Buffy's going to be with Cordelia at a yeah. time when Cordelia needs her. Yes. I pledge my life and my death. The Delta Zeta Kappas to Makita. Like, I, I don't need any of this to know those guys are concerning. Yeah, because there are many ways they can be concerning. Yeah. Before my assembled brother, I promise to keep our secret until my death. Which will be now. So. <laughs> okay. I think he's pledging. Yeah, no, he is. Obviously. But I was baptized, and in blood I shall reign. Cool, dude. Yeah, so it's just next level frat boys. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. Supernatural frat boys. Yeah. What's a girl like you doing in a place like this? Um, getting sacrificed? No. Mm, no. God, I love high school girls. Because they're easy to kill and you're a bitch? Easy to get, yeah. I swear to God. Guys like that? Yeah. How do you take advantage of slash abuse someone who is obviously like way more vulnerable than you and feel powerful about it? I know. That's the thing that like the, like if we're getting past the whole, wow, that's fucked up. How can you just inflict pain and suffering on people like that? Yeah. We're getting to just the logic of what you get out of it. Yeah. You think power would be the thing. You, you feel powerful, yeah. like dominating this other person. And it's like, but they're so much weaker than you. And there's like 10 of you. And you're rich as shit. What's powerful about that? It's fucking sad. Going to the fraternity party? What made you change your mind? Angel, he's going with you? Uh, oh, that no. would be good. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm not going with Angel. I'm going with Cordelia. Cordelia. Well, you need to be not hyped about this. I swear, you need to be concerned for your friend. Someone's yeah. supposed to take care of her. Cordelia is much better for you than Angel. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Gotta work on her, though. Yeah. What happened with Angel? Nothing. Angel barely says two words to me. Don't you hate that? <laughs> That's not the thing to be concerned about. <laughs> he treats me like I'm a child. At least Tom can carry on a conversation. Oh, uh, no. What? That was not a conversation. Oh. That was a very planned monologue. Yeah, and look, I get the impression that she's never met guys like that, so how no, could she know? of course. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense uh, in this situation. Yeah. Oh, it sucks, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit of Giles training. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, hey, that shouldn't be embarrassing. You should be training. Yes, and be proud of it. Yeah. How did it go last night? Fabulous. I'm putting in work. That's good. But not around the clock. <laughs> okay. EMT. I've seen something like that. It's broken in two, and there's blood on it. Angel showed up. He could smell it. Yeah. Did you bother looking to see where it was at all? Even if it's just a speck? Blood. In Sunnydale. What a surprise. I mean, I know we can trust Angel on that. But still. Yeah. She should probably make the rounds again tonight, and we should try to figure out who that bracelet belongs to. She's standing right here, and she's not available. Yeah, oh, he's really pushing her towards this. Yeah, no, Giles has definitely Angel. exacerbated this yeah. for sure. Yeah. My mom's not really feeling well. I'm not feeling all that well myself. Sorry, of course, if, if, if you're not well. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, if she's not well. Yeah. Well, I'll take an early pass this evening and... Well, you should stay home with your mother. What? Oh, man, yeah, you pushed her into it for yeah. sure. Well, say it. I'm not going to say it. You lied to Giles. I appreciate that all three of them have better outfits now. I know, yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I was just protecting him from information he wouldn't be able to digest properly. Yeah. I mean, it's still a lie, but yeah. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Would you rather go to a party where there's going to be drinking and probably an orgy? What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That was a step up. Yeah. Definitely not the worst thing that yeah. could happen, though. Once in a great while, I want to have some fun. Oh. oh, man. This isn't about fun. This is about your duty to help me achieve permanent prosperity. Yeah. Don't wear black, silk, chiffon, or spandex. Don't party with college frat boys. Yeah. Be interested if someone should speak to you. It may or may not happen. To be clear, I'm not saying not ever. I'm sure that there are some college frats who are filled with good dudes. Yeah. However, the problem with college frats is similar to the problem with like men's sports. I don't know what it's like for women, but I know that in like things like football, like Australian rugby, um, basketball and stuff, it, there are times where it can foster a culture of completely like not knowing anything about women. There's a mm -hmm. separation. It's mm -hmm. the guys, you know, yeah, and they yeah. only know the yeah. guys. And um, it leads to 
a lot of really sketchy shit because they're stupid and don't want to know more. They're yeah. not really trying to be good people or be smart. They're all encouraging each other because it's the boy's way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's... Obviously hard to get through. Yeah, I didn't like being one of the boys. Do you lie to your mom about where we're going and there will be drinking? <sighs> Fuck. I know. Wow, what a <laughs> point. I just wanted to clarify because I think I've made it pretty clear that I was definitely like a nerdy guy who definitely got bullied in high school. But I also was athletic. So to be clear, I was right in the middle of being an athlete and a nerd. So I both got bullied, but was also one of the Part boys of at times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of hard. Like I, I couldn't be like out of the boys yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. whatever, yeah, because yeah, yeah. of sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also you know, didn't really fit in. Wasn't fully there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Cora, are you printing up business cards or just going with a halter top tonight? No, halter top and a nice little whistle. I don't know how many people actually, you know, help. Yeah. You guys want to join us? Nah, I got to digest and all. Oh, yeah, no, the uh, amount of people at a party does not make it safer. I can't believe she lied to Giles. My world is all askew. Buffy's going to frat parties. A little product placement? Uh, yeah. That's not askew, that's cockeyed. Askew means cockeyed. Yeah, it does. More or less. But also, can somebody recognize the pressure she's under? Yeah. Just one person. Yeah. I'm going to the party. You gotta keep an eye on Buffy. Those frat guys creep me. Yeah. Good. You wanna protect her? Prove that you're just as good as those rich, snotty guys? Mm -hmm. You're better. You're better, and you definitely have a potential to I be mean, better. I mean, Xander's been annoying me, but yeah. he's mostly just petty and yeah. kind of resentful. Yeah. Again, annoying. He's not actually a problem, though. Yeah. He just could be with the wrong influences. Yes, he has a potential to be a good person. Yes. Are you ready for this? I don't know. I would say he's still currently a good person. Well, yeah, he is, but now he's a, he's, he's a teenager. He's, yeah, you know, he's just being forming. insecure yeah. and, you know. Yeah. Wow. College dudes in, like, business clothing attire <laughs> getting no. drunk. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Is there alcohol in this? Just a smidge. Oh, my God. No. I'll just say Yes, please, put it down. It's not the alcohol that's in there that yeah. you need to be worrying about. Yeah. It's the other stuff. Have you seen our multimedia room? Want to show me? And they don't have the bracelets with like... Yeah, you know. I know. The testy? Yes. Yeah. What about... She's happy as by herself. If you guys didn't know, they have bracelets where you can test for like roofies and shit yeah. now. You just dip it in. Well, you can dip, color. you can even like touch and... Yeah, just yeah. dab a bit yes. on the bracelet yeah. and it changes color. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way. Yeah. Well, the good news is he definitely looks like a full-grown man. Exactly. He looks <laughs> the part in that polo shirt, right? That's a polo shirt? Yeah. And those fucking pants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he looks like he has a family with, uh, like, a little girl and, like, yeah. a toddler boy. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to look 45, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're just here, because why would you want to hang out with anyone yeah. here? <laughs> Having fun? Yeah. This seems like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Are you going to drink the drink? Please don't. There you go. Again, someone has to be sober enough to look out for Cordelia when things yeah, go wrong. Yeah, Just wants to do something and it's like, mm -hmm. no. get Cordelia out of here and go. Yeah. I was saying no to the guy with the, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's dead! Oh my God. What the fuck? Somebody please punch this guy in the face. Buffy do that. Could I have this name? Okay. Yeah. Saving Ooh, her. What was that? Yeah. Probably saved. Uh-huh. To make him seem like the good guy. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Yeah. We're not all a bunch of drunken louts. Some of us are sober louts. I think that they have set up for all of this. I'm really glad that you decided to come. Yeah, I'm sure you are glad, man. Mm -hmm. And I know why you're sober. It's not because you're clean cut. Yeah. I shouldn't be here. Because you're seeing someone. No, because she's 16. Yeah. No. You're not seeing someone? Someone's not seeing me. Oh. Why shouldn't you be here? Because I have obligations. You're big on responsibility. Well, I wouldn't say she's big on it. She just knows what she has to do and she's yeah. got to do it. Yeah, and she does it. And she's, she's doing fine time. with her yeah. responsibility. Mm -hmm. There's such a thing as being too mature. You think I'm too mature? Uh, I know. If you have to say that to somebody... I know. Godzilla's attacking downtown Tokyo. <laughs> They're having fun. Yeah. That's good for Xander. Yeah. This dork. And of course he's not fitting in. Yeah, no, of course he's not. 
He's not a rich boy. Why would he fit in? Yeah. Have either of you seen a pair of girls here? One's about so high. Yeah. Hey, Xander, did you come here prepared to fight? New pledge. New pledge! New pledge! New pledge! Oh, that's actually worse. Yeah. I'd rather they thought you were an intruder. And well, they do, but that's oh, how they but like they're, get they're back making at him. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, another. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. I really wish that there was some blood on it because mm -hmm. there should be, and that would make it more clear. To my jump ponds that just matured into double digits. What? To maturity. Oh. Oh yeah. I'm tired of being mature. Uh yeah oh. no. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> Man, back in the 90s when girls didn't know that they yeah. needed to be with someone, like a chaperone, yeah. for this kind of thing. Yeah. And to be fair, it was probably still happens today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just more awareness now. Yeah. Kent, that's it. Kent Preparatory School. That's where I've seen these bracelets. Mm hmm Pulling up their school newsletter. See if there's anything about... And there is. Missing girls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that uh, Will is doing the important work here. Exactly. First, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. See, Xander. Yeah, humiliating. Why are you staying here? I don't understand. Shake it! Don't break it! Oh, uh, well, I guess fear of getting beaten up. Yeah. Even though he is on the fitter side, he's supposed to be the skinny nerd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So. <laughs> just not skinny. Yeah. We'll just imagine that he's a little skinnier yeah. than. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one uh, drink. I wonder like, how this happened. Yeah, I wanted to talk about her shoes, but I can't now because how can I? Mm -hmm. You know, bigger issues. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, and yeah, I guess Xander's instincts were good, but he just has no yeah. idea how to handle the situation. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. man, honestly, this is one of those times where I would have been like, you know what? Let's get Angel. Yeah. I don't want him involved romantically, but he's still useful to the team. Absolutely. Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, you know what? I'm almost thinking, oh, it should have been better if she like locked herself in the bathroom. Well, the best here. thing to do in this situation is leave. I guess she, and she's got honestly, no cell phone, honestly, so she's got no way to leave. Yeah, for right now, and Cordelia nothing, won't nothing fucking is help. because she's already losing consciousness. Oh my God, yeah, this yeah. is bad. I almost want to say lose consciousness in the party. It's better. Yeah. But is it? I, don't I think know. That, I think you're almost gonna... you're almost right. Find somewhere you can lock yourself in. Yeah, and they have to actually like do something yeah. very loud to get to the Exactly. Party. Yeah. Just away from her. Yes. There you go. No. She's having a little fun. She's not here for your fun, you pervert. Yeah. Excuse me? She's here for the pleasure of the one we serve. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, obviously. Supernatural effect. I know, but... And that goes for the other one, too. I thought he was actually being a good guy, but no. Aww. He just Aww. wants to save her for... Later. Yeah. And for Delia. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, Cordelia can't help. Yeah, she probably drank straight away. Mm-hmm. Kylie Megan Anderson. No one knows what happened to her. This being Sunnydale and all, I guess we can rule out something good. Honestly, it doesn't need to be Sunnydale. Yeah, for a missing girl. Yeah. I'm calling Buffy. No! Buffy! And her mother. I'm sick. No, you're quite right. No. Oh, yeah. There's no point in disturbing them until we know more. If there are others, Brittany Oswald disappeared a year ago. Yeah, well, uh -huh. uh, I think it's time to spill. Yeah. Buffy's at the party. So did Kelly Purcell. A year. An anniversary. Yes. Perhaps some other event significant to the killer. Yeah. Oh, we don't know that there's yeah, a... but this being Sunnydale and all... Again, uh -huh. doesn't need to be Sunnydale. We need to know where Buffy found that bracelet. Well, they're thinking about Supernatural, but they should be thinking about you know, not, you real could... life as well. Yeah. Call Angel. He was there when Buffy found it. There's still plenty of creepy dudes out there. Yeah. We're going to need all the help we can get. Yeah, a friend of mine was here. You know, with that wig on and all... You're still butt ugly. <laughs> um, yeah, so Xander, totally yeah. fucking useless. Gotta do something. Gotta get over it. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I like the effort of going there. Yes, absolutely. In this case, yeah. but not enough. Like at this point, you gotta be prepared to like bust back in. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you can't leave. You know that they're there. Yeah. Like, there's no way I would leave a female friend in a situation like this. Like, I'm yeah. just going home like, oh, I guess she's probably fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. But yeah, he doesn't know. Yeah, I know. Where are we? In the basement, as far as I can tell. What did they do to us? 
could drug us. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> what? Oh, Cordelia. I know. I don't want to go home. No one's going home. Ever. The good news here is they're probably going to only try to kill you. <laughs> So, the good news, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the bright side. I know. He's the one to watch out for. And yeah, no shit. Mm hmm. Three stones. Three of us. Uh huh. Oh, they're gonna pick at random? Buffy, we'll get out of this. Or let the fates decide or whatever. Whatever. Why'd I ever let you talk me into coming here? Are you Excuse fucking serious? Me? You gotta stop doing that, That's Cody. One of the worst moments of Cordelia is in this episode. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she does grow after this. Well, that's good. <laughs> she found the bracelet in the cemetery near the South Wall. Because she was doing some growing. She'll, she'll look, do a lot of it. Backsliding happens, but. Yeah. You know. Oh, yes. And it will be happening. What are you doing? Sorry. The reflection thing that you don't have. Oh. Angel, how do you shave? He doesn't need to. <laughs> South Wall, that's near the college. He doesn't grow facial hair anymore. I'd assume. The fraternity house. Yes. Could they be taking these girls? Could they? Let's get out here. Buffy! Most likely candidate. Yeah. Candidates. Whatever. Is there with Cordelia. They went to a party. Yeah, you really, really should have spilled this earlier. She lied to me? Well, Did she have a date? Dude! Who fucking cares if she had a date? You gave her the brush off. That's... Uh... Okay. And you never let her do anything except work. First of all, yes, both of these guys do share some part of the plane, but it's not all of the plane, yeah. for one. But disappointed that it took Willow this long. Like, as soon as you started being like, girls are going missing. Yeah. That's the moment where you're like, oh, shit, we need to talk about this. Like, Buffy, sure, I can understand. And she, she might be thinking, oh, Buffy will be fine because she's the Slayer. Yeah, yeah. Cordelia's not. Yeah. And, you know, I know you guys have a contentious relationship, but... Still don't want her to get, like, yeah. let's say killed. And then, yes, Buffy is the slayer, but she's drugged. Yeah, she's not impervious. Yeah. You know? I know she's the chosen one, but you're killing her with the pressure. She's 16 going on 40. Cool. Exactly. Okay. And you, you're going to live forever. You don't have time for a cup of coffee? It's not about the time. Okay. I don't feel better now, and... You've got to help Buffy. Yeah, I like that. Fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was mostly pretty solid. Yeah. So. Would be nice if she did it earlier, but I appreciate mm -hmm. that she did it. Makita, we who serve you, we who receive all that you bestow, call upon you. What exactly is it that he bestows? Mm. We have no wealth, no possession, except that which you give us. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Yep. We have no power, no place in the world, except that which you give us. So you guys did the whole um, demon sacrifice or like pleading to a demon or whatever yeah. to get your wealth. Yeah. Okay. We come before you with fresh offerings. Wealth, power, whatever they want. Yeah. He's talking about us. You see anyone else chained up? <laughs> For real, and though. reality. What the fuck, Cody? Accept our offering and bless us with your power. Makita. Makita. The Japanese tool company? <laughs> we call you Makita. Okay, yeah. So they're praying to a power drill. Mm -hmm. Power just... drill? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, I get you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have Makita where you are, but yeah, it's, they're power tools. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I no. remember this being so scary. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have been freaked out by that when I was young. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Snake man, huh? Mm. Rise from the depths and we shall tremble. Love the practical effects. Yes, good. Yeah. And on the tenth day of the tenth month, he shall be unhunkered and we shall feed him. Um, is he gonna eat like normal snakes do? <laughs> oh, that seems like a terrible way to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Be like suffocation, right? Indeed. Yeah. Looks like everyone's gone. Hey, hey, what are you guys doing here? Why wouldn't you call them? I know. A bunch of girls are missing. The Zeta Kappas may be involved. Are you wearing makeup? Whatever. Who fucking cares? It's the least important thing happening right now. Yeah. No. I think Buffy's still inside something with Cordelia. Why are you wearing that? Oh my god, guys. Wow, that's really not important. Saw them through the window. They were wearing robes and went down to the basement. I was going to use it to sneak in. They may be involved in some kind of ritual. With the missing girls. With Buffy. Maybe? Yeah. Buffy could be in serious danger. Xander, why are you wearing these things? Yeah. Let's talk about your clothes for another few minutes. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, reptile boy! 
<laughs> Reptile Boy. Yeah. That's the name of the episode, by the way. Oh, okay. Fair enough. No woman speaks to him. You don't want her. Look at her. Half an hour later, you'll be hungry. I told you to shut up. Oh, yeah. All right. Got locked out dumping the trash. <sighs> Well, I guess we know the limits of Buffy's power to a degree now. She's not strong enough to break through those chains. Or is she? <laughs> yeah. Let me in. I don't want to miss the, uh, you know what? Honestly, though, dude, at this point, you didn't really need him to come to the door. Mm. Yeah, oh. I know. <laughs> those are glass doors. You can fucking... Oh, wow. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Why do you need to keep up appearances? Yeah. Something's going on upstairs. Go. I mean... You got Angel here for the yeah. power backup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. V. Dark Lord. Mouth is small. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're not going for the other random girl first. Voldemort wants yeah. um, Cordelia. Yes. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> such a yeah, funny I, I... The guy's attacking Buffy with a sword. There's a really big snake. I'm glad um, Willow is on point with yes, what's happening. Totally. Oh, just like oh, the last sixteen and a half years. Buffy, snake, face them now. They're not a threat in any way. Just go through them. I know. Like, why are you riding around on his back, hitting him in the head? Yeah. Man? If you're not gonna punch him in the face or break his leg, yeah. What the fuck? Like, if they're in the way, yeah. make sure you can go through. Yeah, just, like, pile straight through them so hard that they don't get back up. Yeah. And just keep going. Yeah. You bitch. I'll serve you to him in pieces. You talk too much. Let it go, Wormy. Um, why do you have to say, why are you wasting time? Just hurt him. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, sometimes the quips... Mm, yeah. Indeed, yeah. Well, and this whole thing works because you cut his tail off? Okay. You guys. Hate you guys. They saved you. The weirdest things always happen when you're around. Yes. Yeah, but this didn't have anything to do with them. You were, you went here, you were drugged here. It has nothing to do with Buffy. Yeah. Cordelia, the only reason you made it out of this is because of these guys. Exactly. I told one lie. Had one drink. Yes, very nearly devoured by a giant demon snake. Hey, bro, are you gonna figure your shit out? Words, let that be a lesson. N no. Okay, cool. I'm sorry. So am I. Oh. Uh-huh. I, I drive you too hard because I, I know what you have to face. Okay. 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 From now on, no, no more pushing, no more prodding. No! That's not the lesson. Just an um, inordinate amount of nudging. There's a, yeah, okay, oh, the, uh, or, yes, no. okay. Yeah, okay. An amount of nudging, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Middle ground. That's yeah, all yeah, we yeah. want. Exactly. Oh, come on, come on. That's a very cafe vibe. Mm, mm. Is this not a cafe? No, it's bronze. Oh, this is the bronze. Yeah. Oh, yeah, weird. Thank you, Jonathan. Did we forget something? Um. What? Extra foam. Jonathan, what are you doing? Did yeah. you pay for your services? Oh. You sad, sad boy. Oh. I oh, wish you fucking paid. I, I, yeah, I know he didn't. <laughs> she didn't, sorry. Yeah. They've all been sentenced to consecutive life sentences. Investigators found the bones of missing girls and beneath the frat house. Yeah. Yeah. Corporations whose chairman and founders are Delta and Zeta Kappas mm -hmm. are suffering from falling profits, IRS raids. Uh, if only yeah. that were the real way it worked. You just take out their supernatural bullshit yes. and it all crumbles. <laughs> would be, would be really <laughs> yeah. good. Have you heard from Angel? When he got so mad about you being in danger, changed into a... What? Angel. Yeah. Oh, mm. she, she just didn't want to use the word vampire? Yeah. Grr. Yeah. <laughs> the most amazing thing I ever saw. I hear this place uh, serves coffee. Maybe you and I should get some. Oh, uh, sure. no. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Sometime. If you want. Yeah. Sometime. I'll let you know. I'm not going to blame Buffy for having a crush. She, she yeah. doesn't know any better, but he should. And yeah. Willow to a degree as well. I have to give her some leniency for also being a teenager yeah. and not yeah, fully yeah. getting it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And like, doesn't have that many friends. She doesn't have that much yeah. of a social life. Totally. Got to give some leeway, but 
yeah. fuck. It's it's still hard to experience, you know. It's we tough. understand that they're mm. teenagers. Yeah, yeah. It's not that it doesn't make sense. It's just it doesn't make sense. We just want them. You just to don't make want to happen. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's um, it's one of those things. Like, I really wish that Angel was just a part of the team. Mm-hmm. and there wasn't any romantic anything that would be so much better i mean i, I get what they're doing and yeah. why yeah just so uncomfortable this seemed like a, an episode that actually a little bit on the important side just because the more depictions we get of um these kind of situations going wrong and those kind of guys actually being creepy yeah i think the better because yeah. it's obviously more matching with reality, obviously yeah. removing the supernatural bullshit. Yeah, yeah. it is uh, an important episode in terms of real life and for this season as well. Yeah. And with mm. her trying to have a little bit of a life, trying to sure. have a little bit of a mm. um, reprieve from her being a slayer. I can see why this episode be, would be important to the overall story. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think I want to see it again. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of a thing. Yeah. Like, I remember the demon yeah. you know, from it. Yeah, and yeah. I remember this, you know, the whole Fred this, situation. Yeah. And I don't really... That's why I said I don't have strong feelings about it. Like, I kind of do, but I don't want to. You don't want to? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I don't want to be, like, thinking about it too yeah. much because I've seen this a lot. Yeah, it is the kind of episode where it's like, I get it, fully makes sense. Uh, I think it's a pretty good episode, but yeah, yeah I wouldn't want to watch it again. Yeah. We've had enough knowledge of creepy guy this behavior. Happening. Yeah. On a slightly lighter note, Cordelia is also just so shitty in this one, like so oblivious, yeah. so pushy, so yeah. like me, me, it, me. Bit of a step back. And this back. is not funny. Like in this no, case, it's, it's not, not funny. funny. She no, can be annoying. funny, but this is, yeah, yeah. Not, not great. As much as it is a bit of a step back for her character in terms yeah. of her character growth, yeah. I mean, it makes sense that she would... Um, Growth isn't linear. Yes. And like she had a little bit of it. It doesn't mean that she's a whole different person. Now. Exactly. Yeah. Growth uh, happens in like random bursts. You know, you grow a lot and then regress a little bit. And you grow a little bit and regress a lot. And, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. fucking do a full on circle three times and then mature yes. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah, so it is what it is. If, if, for those of you guys who watched this episode with us, I really appreciate you. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, I yeah. can understand if there would be some of you who didn't want to see it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. It's a, it's a lesson yeah. for the guys. It's important for the story. And yeah. that's where we're going to leave it. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to getting on with the season because, you know, obviously yeah. we see more serialized elements coming into play. Yeah. And I do like serialized stories, long-running yeah. stuff. For sure. Know. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you next episode. Bye.